And now joining us in the studio is Eddie Lowey, who without his input, the Journalism Awards would not be possible. Hi Eddie, thanks for coming in today. My pleasure. So how did you become involved with the University of Salford? It goes back a long way. Uh, the Isle of Man government have got a lot of reasons, very sound reasons, for being involved with Salford University. They were our advisors, industrial advisors, in the 80s and 90s. Uh, and the Isle of Man government uh, owe a lot to the the wise uh, advice that we received and the investment that we received in personnel and in uh, opening doors for us to welcome innovation in industrial development. And the Isle of Man has gone from strength to strength. It's one of the major players now in the Isle of Man um, raft of industries that we have. Uh, so that's where Salford came in. They actually advised the Isle of Man government for uh, many years for decades in industrial matters, uh, much to uh, our success. <laughs> and in terms of journalism, uh, you yeah. say that University of is is a quite a, like a big innovation in terms of bringing in good journalism talent. Absolutely. So, you obviously got quite a big role here in terms of journalism here at the uh, University of Salford, quite a big influence. So what would you say would be the most important qualities of a the good journalist? Most important qualities of a journalist, why did I get myself involved in, in journalism? It's because I, I'm, I'm rather concerned about the state of journalism at home um, and the, the, the lack of uh, what I would call professional integrity. And when I mean in professional integrity, I think the role of journalism is vital in a democracy, for example. Um, but I really think that when I came here, uh, I saw m media city and I saw yes. media uh, getting a high profile. Uh, it seemed to me that this, if you like, was um, almost the promised land. And as it's developed, it like, it? and as it's developed, how right I was. Yes. But that my own view is that journalism really. Uh, is enabling people to know the real world and to make their own minds up and judgment. Journalism shouldn't be about being spoon-fed the news. It should give you the opportunity to say, this is in the news, what's behind it, these are the facts. And then you make your value judgments on that, those facts. Okay, so just coming off the back of that, that point, what are the qualities, I don't know, three, three key uh, uh, qualities you would say is uh, needed for a good journalist? I what think are those three key Well, qualities? if you're going to have three uh, key uh, developments, first of all, I think you've got to be able to challenge and uh, excite and hold people's attention. Um, as I said earlier, in, in, uh, the, the, the role of the journalist isn't to um, make my judgments for me, but to report the facts. That's basic report the facts. That's number one. Number two, and I say this because if I'll explain, often you'll see billboards with headlines or you'll see the headlines in the newspaper. Mm -hmm. Then you read the report that's underneath it and it bears no comparison to the, what I would call, the headlines that you've you've it's been an it, it's an attention no, yeah absolutely and i think that's dumb dumbing down i like newspapers to be just that news papers to bring you the facts tell you the stories and then if you like you have enough information to base your judgment on what you read and see not just a gossip mag not just a gossip mag although there's a place for gossip magging you yes. know i mean yeah, twitter and all the rest modern <laughs> technology social media, social media yes i I'm, I'm as you've guessed i'm not a, a social media person oh, but it's the <laughs> world it's the world that we live in and it, more and more people use it and i suppose it's better for them to be using that than not using anything at all mm -hmm. but not at the expense of what I would call, what we've lost is personal contact, number one. I think in the world has become more impersonal, and the more impersonal is the more removed you are from re real reality. Uh, and I think that the social media that we t explosion mm -hmm. is removing us from what I would call contact with real people, and that's a, a danger. That and that's a da that's a danger. That is a danger. And your third, third and final point. Third and final point is that we've got to, you know, these things just don't happen. I'm reminded of the gardening analogy, you know, you know, God made the garden, yes, but when 
he was left to guard, you know, it was, it was a, quite a jungle. Uh, you, you, you need to tend it. And again, I think we need to tend it. We want to be in charge of making it happen. In other words, we've got to put the tools in the, in the hands of people who, who, that will then make it happen. And as far as I'm concerned, I think Salford University is a classic where they learn in basics, they're learning um, uh, the media and how to utilize it in the right way. And again, young people, you know, you've got a lifetime's habit. The idea that one of the best journalists we have in the Isle of Man, for example, was taught here in Manchester, uh, Manchester Evening News, as it so happened. Um, uh, but now we've got this university. The numbers of people that we've got now in training, I think, is good. That's the hence why we're trying to support the young people and excite them with these very good awards that, I have to say, all we do is fund. They're actually made possible through the, the work of the university and the, the tutors. And I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm in a position uh, where Arthur Cofield, who was the Vice President of Europe, um, uh, and his estate is helping young people uh, with these awards to, if you like, excite them and make them think, for, you know, for further their careers, give well, them uh, a new experience. Well, I think the University of Salford is a great platform for the journalists of the future, definitely. The facilities here are brilliant, the teachers and the lecturers are great, and it's through uh, people like uh, you that, you know, these things can be made well the two of us individually so. maybe not so big but you know together house. absolutely exactly, yeah. together it's the collective thing isn't it yeah, exactly. together we can make it happen and together. i'm i'm delighted to be able to be in a position at this time to support the university because they do a tremendous job as i said the isle of man government and the people of the isle of man owe you salford university a lot i can tell you from the practical end um, a very junior member, uh, very junior minister at that time, well, Greenhorn, I think, not junior, because the ministry was of vital importance mm -hmm. to the Alaman in our development. The University of Salford certainly gave us very sound advice. And of course, the university built its reputation by dirtying its hands and getting down with industry, <laughs> you know, when it wasn't it was fashionable, well. when it wasn't fashionable to do so. This university led the way and it's still innovative. You know, it's the media city and basing itself, if you like, next door to it is, uh, is terrific. Excellent. Thank you, Eddie, for coming in. Thank no, you so much. No, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you.